Hello, I'm Brigantia Blackbird of Blackbird's Brew. Happy Monday and welcome to Norse Studies. We are talking about honoring the god for Seti. Independence Day was last week and the meaning of that day is still fresh in my mind. It was a step that the founding fathers took as a matter of justice and because they saw no viable alternative before them. This has led me to think about the concept of justice more broadly, which has led me to contemplating the god Forseti. Forseti is the son of Baldur and Nana and his name means the presiding one in the sense of presiding over official proceedings, matters of law and mediation. He has a reputation for eloquence, wisdom, and and interestingly, gentleness. For Seti's goals weren't merely to execute the law, although he certainly does so, but he is also concerned with fairness to everyone, with reconciliation and restoration of t peace, and he's known as a promoter of truth. When I think of gods whose knowledge, experience, and wisdom are desperately needed in modern society, Forseti ranks pretty high on my list. Our civilization has seen the fruitage of moral agnosticism, of social isolation and familial destruction. Forseti promotes the exact opposite of those things, and he would be a welcome tonic for many people. Uh, when it comes to honoring Forseti, perhaps the place to start is just by looking in the mirror and asking if our actions are consistent with someone whose ideals are aligned with his. It's all very well for us to want justice for ourselves, but it's quite a different matter to exercise fairness towards other people, particularly if there's friction between ourselves and another individual. And this isn't an issue that can just be, you know, glossed over with a little bit of lip service, and then we can just pretend that we totally prioritize justice. Uh, Forseti is not a god who's going to be fooled by human hypocrisy, and it's to our benefit to try and root that out of ourselves. And Forseti doesn't just dispense a very cold, black and white, strictly legalistic form of justice. I mean, if he did, then he would not be known for bringing about reconciliations or for being a peacemaker. Living, conscious beings are not machines, so it's really useless to make rules or laws as if we were and then expect to have a livable outcome for anybody. Justice requires taking the totality of reality into account. That includes human nature. And understanding that we are not only driven by our minds and not only by our hearts and not only by our instincts. It is an amalgamation of all of our aspects. Therefore, that must be reflected in law and in social structures. This makes exercising justice quite difficult, but it's a necessary difficulty because everything that is anti-human or goes against our nature, it's doomed to failure in the end. And a considerable amount of damage can be done before that end is reached. The only way to avoid that is to not get into the trap of thinking that all things can be solved with logic alone or through fits of emotion. Neither works. Uh, Forseti knew better, and frankly, our own life experience should have taught this to us to know better as well. Another way to honor Forseti is that in what he stands for is in the way we react if we receive his guidance. Do we accept it and do we adjust ourselves to his wisdom? Or do we reject it and try to make things fit into our own preconceived boxes? The temptation to not change even when we would benefit from change is always present in human nature, but it is a trait that has been magnified because of the state of our culture. At the moment, it seems that everyone is busy digging in their heels and expecting everyone else to conform to them because reasons. Uh, we are fools if we imagine that we are not affected by that tendency. If we do seek for Seti's wisdom, we should be prepared to get answers that reflect what is right and good for us, but are not necessarily what we want to hear and not necessarily a sign that we're just going to get our own way. It's necessary to make the effort to maintain perspective and to have the humility to accept that our personal ideas and preferences aren't always the product of genius and sometimes other people could improve them, especially if we are talking about gods like Forseti. They can definitely improve the state of our ideas. And what strikes me about Forseti is that he is a promoter of reasonableness. What is reasonable? I mean, this is a question that can't be let out of uh, discussions about justice or morals. To be reasonable is to take in all the factors and to weigh them properly and then follow through with attitudes and actions that are livable for people and enable people to thrive if they make the most of their circumstances. Reasonableness doesn't ask too much and it does not require too little. We do not live in a reasonable society, and uh, neither do most people conduct themselves in a reasonable way. And if we're being honest, as we should try to be, most of us could probably stand to make a little bit more of an effort to become reasonable and to act reasonably. 
Uh, and if we do, we then have an opportunity to set a good example for other people and to make more life more bearable for those who do share our values, both in word and deed. If we learn to be reasonable, we can help create little pockets of sanity within our own circles and that can strengthen each other. Uh, this also honors Forsetti just as much as uh, the most splendid of offerings we could possibly give him in ritual or at the altar. When a God sees people living in a manner that upholds his highest values, then that is the truest reflection of respect and reverence that people could possibly have for that God. So that's what I have for you on that topic. Uh, let me know about your own thoughts and impressions about honoring Forseti in the comment section, or come see me and everyone else at Blackbird's Brew on Gilded. There's a link in the description box that'll take you right to the group, as well as links to the other pagan content creators who are associated with Blackbird's Brew. So definitely check them out. And I think that'll do it for this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.